a, a rare instance where Dickinson didn't read the double team and see it coming. Usually he's so good at reading the defense and making the right play. McConnell, mid-range jumper good for Caleb McConnell. Steve Michael said he likes the shot selection. He's getting the right shots, and ultimately that's all you can ask for. If you're taking the right ones and you put in the work, you live with the results. That's a pretty good shot on the other end by the senior Eli Brooks. Guards are going to be able to come off screens and get into that 15-foot area. Great feed from Smith, but an even better block from Johnson. Driving it right at Harper. Oh, he might have walked. But either way, he threw it to Paul McKay. That could be a COVID pause turnover right there from Franz Wagner. <laughs> and that's a blocking foul. They're going to count the basket. Scarlet Knights have not defeated since they joined the league in 2014-15. Drop off inside. Davis, good patience. Uh, and a great read from Mike Smith. It's the entire conference, Mike Smith, at 5.6 assists a game. McConnell going to work again, but Riff Liver says wow. no, sir. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, McConnell thinks he's got a clear path and Livers. Looks like a little zone from Rutgers. Yeah, switching it up out of the timeout. Livers almost traveled, but somehow found Brown, and Brown with four bounces finds the bottom of the net. Hard to believe Juwan Howard turned 48 on February 7th. It makes you feel old, doesn't it? Seems like the Fab Five was just a moment ago. Nice finish at the rim for the junior Brandon Johns. These two teams in Maryland would be the best three benches in terms of energy. There's some energy. Austin Davis throwing it down with two hands. Here is Dickinson setting the screen. Now it's Brooks downhill, and he's rejected. Three seconds, floater on the baseline, pretty from Fonz Wagner just before the horn. And first of all, heck of a block for Morier, but this is a one-hand little 18-foot floater from Franz Wagner. McConnell. Over the top, Johnson corralling. Got Wagner on him, but he kicks it to McConnell. Long two for Caleb McConnell. He's got six. Michigan's a hard team to come back on with how they defend and the fact that they don't turn it over. Wagner, great pass. What a pretty feed to Dickinson. Livers got that size advantage. And he takes advantage over Geo Baker. Dickinson powering it up. Missed it. Livers offensive rebound and a wide open. Mr. Wagner from deep. Smith probing inside, kicking it back out. Wagner this time attacking the rim, dropping it off for Dickinson. How many times have we seen that tonight? He's given him 12 solid minutes tonight. Hasn't scored much, just one to two from the floor. Here he is. <laughs> That's how you score, big fella. Just haven't been able to convert enough when they've kind of dug in on this end of the floor. Yep. Great move. Pretty one-handed finish for Mike Smith. And those three-point shooting woes continue from the last 10 games. There's Jacob Young, the Big Ten steals leader, does it again. Here is Baker into Johnson. Johnson also a pretty quiet offensive night. Going to work here, bucket and the foul. And now you probably do. You wanted to try and put him in a trap or two, but running out of time. Yeah, at this point, might be an exercise in futility. Oh, Off the long COVID pause, they beat Wisconsin, and now they're going to take care of Rutgers as the back of the rim is kind to Mr. Young. Into the front court and Michigan. Since returning from the COVID pause, they've won back-to-back -back games, one against Wisconsin, and now against Rutgers. They are 14-0 all-time against the Scarlet Knights.